Hey guys! Today I have a brand new video for you and I'm really excited about this video. As you can tell in the title below, it is tips, my tips on how to have a really productive day, get your studying done, homework, whatever it is that you need to do. So let's get right into this video. I am a bit of a nerd and I love studying and I love organizing and I love planning. So productivity does come with that. My number one tip would be to set your environment the way you like it or the way that you are most efficient in. For example, for me, it would be um, organizing my room if it's dirty or like cleaning up the floor or a bed that has clothes on it. Or if my desk is really messy, I just can't study. I need to have a very clean, clear space so that I don't know. It just, I guess it reflects how messy my brain is. If I clean up, I feel like I'm in a better state of mind, if that makes sense. if you are studying for a test and you have multiple resources that you are using to study for the test. For example, you could have a textbook, you could have, let's say, notes that you wrote in class, maybe handouts that your teacher gave you or your professor gave you. Keep everything ready. If like there's index cards, pens, pencils, whatever you need, just like make sure you have it all on your desk because you don't want to be getting up every five minutes because you're forgetting things and then losing your focus and your concentration on what you're doing. So the third tip would be to stay hydrated and to make sure that you aren't hungry or if you are, keep snacks on your desk. It can again be distracting if you are getting up again and again to get water or to get snacks because you're hungry or just like eat, eat whatever you need to eat and then get to studying. YouTube but gosh, you'll see, I know this sounds really like a point that you shouldn't be doing but sometimes you can look up like inspiration study with me videos and that really helps me get into the mood because I'm looking at other people being productive I'm like hmm I want to do that so that's you can do that if you think you have enough self-control because you don't want to go into a YouTube deep dive and then end up watching like cat videos two hours into it instead of studying so be really careful about what you YouTube or just make sure you set a specific time. Maybe you could just like time block like five minutes to watch a YouTube video or half a YouTube video and then, you know, get in the mindset and then get back to studying. Find the time that suits you. Some people like to stay up at night. Some people like to do it during the day. However, I feel like a lot of people say they're night owls, but your brain is not to its full potential at night just because you're sleepy you want to be doing other things like watching TV shows or movies or going to bed so I would definitely recommend starting early in the morning or at least during the daytime maybe like start before like way before sunset I don't know I'm trying to be a morning person and I'm trying to get up a little earlier a uh, little uh, I can't just speak today I'm trying to be an early morning person or an early bird or whatever and try to wake up earlier every day um, and I definitely find that I'm most productive during the day or almost immediately after I'm done with my morning routine. So just find out what time be best works for you and use that time. Set, set time, like set two hours or one hour or however much you need during your most efficient time of the day. Wake up early because the more early you wake up, the less of your day is spent sleeping, if that makes sense. So you can start doing, even if you don't want to immediately get into studying or whatever, or studying for your test or just whatever you're doing, you don't have to do that immediately. You could do something else like doing your laundry, I don't know, whatever you have. And then you would still have enough time to do important things. And then you could sleep early and it's gonna fix up your sleep schedule if you wake up early, trust me on that. If you sleep at 4 a.m. and you're waking up in the afternoon, you are not going to want to study. And then you're going to watch The Office. You're going to binge watch The Office and then you're going to spend the whole day doing that. And then you're going to be on season 5 and you don't know how you got there. So trust me, start early, wake up early and it's really going to help you. Try it out one day. If you like it, keep on going. the night before so you want to know what your tasks are what you've done what you need to do 
So just like plan your day, plan the next day so that you know what to expect when you wake up and you're not scrambling for things all over your desk and you, you know what to expect basically. I like to just write down everything, all the tasks I need to do in my planner or my bullet journal so that I can wake up in the morning and be like, okay, I need to do this, this, and this. And then finally, uh, a strategy that I have recently applied to my daily life is to time block your day. So it would be like, maybe if you're using Google Calendar, which I usually do, it's, I would just, I have a different calendar for time blocking. So I have a few calendars. I have one calendar for all my classes for the semester, for when the semester is in session. And then I have my work schedule, and then I have a random my calendar for which I use to time block little tiny events that could be insignificant or I don't want to dedicate any other calendar to. So I just put in blocks, like maybe half an hour to write a blog post and then two hours to study and then another hour of on YouTube. So just time block your day so that you can keep track of your productivity and you can make sure you're getting everything done. And then also use each day as an example. If your time blocking was a utter miserable fail <laughs> the first time, which it's happened to me for the first few times I've tried it, just understand why you're not able to stick to your schedule. So if it's you're not giving enough time or you're keeping too much of a time gap between slots, so just figure that out and see what works best for you. And so these are all my tips for having a really productive day. Um, if you have any more suggestions, leave them in the comments below for everyone. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of short, but I do have a Be Productive With Me video. Maybe it's up already, maybe it's after this, I don't know. But that's coming soon if it hasn't already. And I have a few more studying and college related videos coming out. If you have any suggestions for what kind of videos or if you have any requests, leave them in the comment below so I can know to make them. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like down below. And thank you for watching my video today. Bye bye!